Hello all, I am Mithun and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we are going to continue our deployment series. In this particular series, we are deploying web applications of different ways, built using different ways or to the internet, right? We started with the basic of all, building a basic web application using HTML and CSS and deploying it to the web. And next we integrated Tailwind CSS and deployed it. And finally, we used a front-end framework like React.js and deployed our applications to the internet. This was the front-end part. Then we moved to the backend and we now know that the main key players in the backend industry are JavaScript and Python. In the previous video, I have shown you the deployment of Node.js applications onto the internet. In this particular video, we'll be deploying the applications built on Flask framework using Python. Okay, Flask, it is very important to note that Flask has been a key player in deploying small scale or else medium sized applications built on Python. Okay, Python, as we know that mainly is used for machine learning based applications and many people use Flask to integrate these algorithms into the web. And the deployment of that is very crucial, right? If you have a machine learning algorithm uh, which can predict something and if you cannot serve your audience, then it's of no use, right? You must either build an application, be it a mobile application or else a website. And if you wish to deploy that machine learning algorithm through uh, to web, is then you can use Flash to do this, okay? Apart from that, there are many good size applications built on by uh, Python frameworks like Django and Flask. Yeah, so there are a lot of players here. And in this particular video, let's just focus on deploying applications built on Flask. Okay, so what would be the process? Okay, so first what I'll be doing is that I'll be creating a minimal Flask app. You can also call it as a starter template or something, some hello world project. Okay, and then we'll be creating that yeah, and we'll be testing that in the development phase. Okay. And next we'll be pushing that to Git and then deploying that using render. Okay. Why render? Render is one of uh, the cool uh, deployment platforms because it gives us some free CPUs. It is easy to configure and it has a lot of features which we'll be seeing uh, while we are deploying our application. Okay. So without any further delay, let's start the deployment. Okay. So first what I'll be doing is that I'll be creating a flash project. I'll be going to this location and I'll create a new folder and I'll be calling this as flask deployment. Okay. You can name it anything flask deployment. Okay. And then I'll be opening this with VS code. Okay. And now talking about the prerequisite, you need Python to be installed. Okay. Installing Python is very easy. Just visit python.org and you can download and even Microsoft store supports this. You can go to Microsoft store and you can download Python. The latest version of Python would be available there. Okay. Not an issue at all. You can go to downloads and you can download any version you want. Okay. So it's very easy. Okay. And yeah, on getting this. So first let's go to the documentation. First, let's go to the documentation where we'll be deploying it. Okay. So that is render. So render is a platform which allows us to deploy various microservices or else web services or else web projects onto the internet. Okay. It supports various uh, programming languages, frameworks. It has a lot of support. And presently we are mainly focusing on Flask, right? So here they give us a starter template also. Okay. So you can either use this or else you can build your custom application. Okay. So this application is also super cool. Okay. But I will take you to a detailed documentation. Okay. So you can just Google class first app and then geeks for geeks people had done a great work here. They have a good documentation here. Okay. So if you want to understand more about how uh, a web application is built, you can uh, refer this. Okay. Let's start from the installation. So first you must install virtual environment. We'll be skipping some of these steps because we don't want to create a virtual environment and then deploy there. We'll be doing it uh, uh, in this main uh, system environment itself. Okay. So what I'll be doing is that first let's install flask. It's just pip install flask. Okay. And if you don't know what pip is, it's just a package manager for Python. Okay. We have npm yarn for node.js or as JavaScript and here we have pip. Okay. So since Flask is already installed into my system, I get requirement already satisfied. And one thing to notice here is that uh, there won't be any change in your file structure or else your project doesn't contain any information that you have installed this. Okay. So the first step is to have this inside your project. Okay. So we'll be creating a file called as requirements. 
.txt file. Okay, so here you must include what are the requirements for this uh, project. Like we install Flask, and you must specify this so that someone using our project because we'll be deploying this to internet, right? Render will be automating this process. We must inform render. Okay, here if you see, it tells that the build command is pip install minus r requirements .txt. You must have this file. This is one of the important. Not a configuration, but a basic thing. You must uh, have it, okay? Or else you can just go to uh, here, okay? Their project. They also give a link for their GitHub repository, okay? Which is simple. Hello World uh, Flask application. They will also give you uh, a sample app what they have deployed. You can even fork that repository or else clone that and get the things done, okay? So here we have requirements.txt. If you see, this is the output they have deployed. Hello world, we'll be deploying the same thing. Okay, here copy these two Flask and Bonicon. Okay, now Flask, yeah, Flask is a package upon which we'll be building applications, and Gunicon. Gunicon is something which is uh, related to the server side. It will uh, establish a web server which is available everywhere. So this is the configuration for render. Okay, we'll be not using Gunicon basically in the development phase. Only the production will be using Gunicon. Okay, now we have the three requisites ready we told we installed flask and we told that our project requires flask okay next let's create a app.py a python file okay and let's just copy and paste this okay i will copy this okay and paste it here okay if you want uh, the comments you can keep it or else i will just remove this because i want to show you how much simple it is to create a web project using flask okay let me remove this let me remove this and let me remove this so this is one thing you must uh, one comment which is very important on the local development server these two lines which uh, is line number eight and nine this is only required in the development mode not in the production mode so whenever we're pushing this to get we'll be removing this okay i'll be showing you why we'll be doing this too, okay i'll be just saving this here okay and that's it we have our web application running now, how can we run this? How, how can we test this? Okay, just write python app.py. Okay, and it starts a development server. And here we have a warning this is a development server, do not use it in production deployment. Okay, I will tell you what are the changes required for that. Okay, and if you click here, you will get hello. If you want to change this to hello Mithun, you can change this. And if you refresh, Okay, why is this not getting updated? Okay, okay, I must restart the server. Okay, and yeah, this is not actually we have something called as debug mode, which actually tracks the changes, but that is not what I am interested in. Okay, you must uh, refresh to get this. Okay, so that's it. Let's deploy this. Okay, one thing to remember is that do not push these two lines to Git. Okay, or else comment it down. That's it. Okay, now the first step is to push the project to GitHub. Okay. So what I must have at GitHub, I must have a repository. Okay, I'll create a new repository and I will tell Flask deployment. Deployment. I'll keep it private and I will create this repository. Okay. And here I will initialize Git by Git in it and oh sorry, Git in it and I will add all the files. Okay, and I will commit telling this as first deployment okay and then let me add the remote origin okay and let me push this git push minus u origin master okay that's it okay now once this is pushed our files will be on github just reload this that's it okay and now we have app.py and requirements.txt okay so yeah now this is done. Now we have sent our code from our local machine to Git. Okay. And next step is to connecting this with render. Okay. You must create, you must be render user. You must just click on create account. Okay. You have sign up kind of thing, get started and you must connect it to Git. That's it. Once you have the account, you can just log. Okay. I have different services running here and now I will create a new web service. Okay. And you must connect this to GitHub as I have already connected it. It doesn't ask me if you are someone who is doing it for the first time, connect it. Okay. And let me connect. 
okay and you must give it a name i will tell definity flask okay and now select the branch this is very important and see this it automatically detects whenever we were doing node uh, node project it detected node.js now it's python 3 as an environment okay so the build command is this and yeah we'll select the free and let's click on create web service as we have seen in the previous lecture as well this takes time this takes time to deploy okay so let's see it first let's read the log statements first it clones means it brings the code from our github account to their servers okay so server is they are just deploying uh, into a server server is simply a computer which can be accessible over a url okay so that's it okay so they are checking out the command see this this is a comment ash code okay so which we can see even here okay if you see if you go to commits i think you will have the same hash code d4 d199b is this the same yeah d4 d1998b okay and it installed it checked for uh, the package uh, requirements dot txt and it download flask and gunicon okay and on downloading it is generating a build okay it generates a build as soon as uh, it is generated it gives us the message okay if any errors it will directly throw you a readable error it's not like something you get which is more complex it's very easy to figure out okay so not a issue at all okay if you are confused still confused you can just google it you will get you will find it easily okay now the build is getting uh, it is generating the build and once the build is complete it gives us a message okay so only one thing one major mistake everyone misses is that they will add these two lines that is this one okay the main driver function should not be there in the production grade code okay so it's taking time it takes time because we are on the free free tier if you want to increase the build time you must uh, upgrade their service okay upgradation is always a option i'll maximize this so yeah understand these comments okay it's uploading the build i think the build is successful so that's why it's uploading okay we will get a message everything would be uh, shown to us okay so these log statements are very important okay see this we started the build at uh, 7:30 and 2 seconds now it's 30 minutes almost takes i guess roughly 3 to 4 minutes to deploy okay so that's it okay it's uploading the build so yeah now we we'll have this project here and one more thing is that render is i think the easiest way okay we had heroku digital ocean everything but they were not that much beginner friendly render is very big beginner friendly see the build was successful build was uploaded and starting service okay now we got started and it's live okay once it's live we'll get this link click on this and our flash cap will be served directly i guess just let's wait it's taking time okay let me copy this and paste it here okay okay so let me copy this copy the url and paste it here okay why it's taking time it's taking a lot of time let's see we are getting any log statement yeah now it's serving okay it takes time see this hello mithun is there okay so that's it this is how simply you can deploy your flash application and you can deploy high level machine uh, machine learning algorithms also because we are given with 5 to 12 mb of the space i think it's very much enough to deploy machine learning algorithms to have personally tested out deploying these applications to so there was no issues at all only thing is that it takes more time that's it okay so this is how we deploy our flash applications on to red hat i hope you had a great time watching this lecture and do not forget to host as much as possible because that's the way you can showcase your work okay so that is why uh, was the main intention of this series and i hope you had got a lot of value and uh, got uh, got to know about platforms like render it's very important to uh, have a strong hold on what are the opportunities available to freely deploy your applications okay so that's it for today's lecture i hope you had a great time watching this lecture and i'll be meeting you all in the next one 